Now we're going to take a look at how to do a CMA in your Lofty that'll help you get ready for a presentation. So first you go to marketing and then on the left you're going to go down to under tools. You're going to expand the dashboard and go down to CMA. Now remember this is not perfect and you're going to see as we go through it. It just gives you a rough estimate, gets you kind of set up to do it, kind of gives you an idea of where to go and what to do, but it gives you a start at least. And some people who have a hard time getting CMAs remember how to do it. This gives you a little presentation kind of put together to kind of start you off. So it's really kind of nice. So you'll see. So I opened up again my templates. You want to be not shared templates, but my templates. I'm going to do kind of a regular four seller default CMA. I'm going to click apply. It's going to load up. And then for the client name, you would put the client name. I'm going to put um, test practice just to show it's a practice one. And then the report name would be same. And then you need to put a real address. I'm going to do um, just the listing that I just know off the top of my head. Uh, where we are. Here's one. We'll grab this listing. Three bedroom, two bath, living area. You make sure everything's correct. Looks good. There's the address. There's the front picture of the home. I hit continue. And then it's going to open up like this and search. Now, as you can see, this gives you a ton of choices. So this is well, obviously way too many because here is the home. Let's see if I can narrow, find their little plus and minus on the map here. And you can see here, the home is down here and it gives you the whole big monster section. That's way more than I want to play with. So what I want to do is go here and click apply filter. So you can see I can change the vast, the price, um, any agent, anything like that, MLS. I can do you know anything on any MLS, manual listings, whatever I want. I only want Sabor MLS, you know, in Texas, which sounds silly, but you just want there. And then if you want to do like one story, so many square feet, it's good to do 20% plus or minus square feet. That one's around 2100, so I can go, you know, 20% about 400. So minimum, I could do say 1700. Max, I could do 2450. That puts me pretty much fit 20% minimum and minus. If there's any lot, anything, I want to hit, you know, anything, all this you can see gives you tons of choices. I'm just going quickly to kind of show you some different things. Um, pets allowed, all this. So once you fill in all the information, go through, clean it up, and then hit apply. See, now it changed a lot here, and it changed a lot of the filters. Now I have 15 results here if I wanted to use them. And it still doesn't really show very good results on this one for the actual neighborhood. Let me see if I can get in a little closer here to this neighborhood. I know we have better results. So let me apply my filters and reset everything. And then see. All right, so we're showing sold here. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. Better. So instead of a one mile radius, so for example, I could draw the polygon. And I'm just clicking around trying to keep in like a subdivision in the area, all that, I can expand the polygon out. This is much better. So I'd like to go here and draw my polygon or do the neighborhood, you know, all that. I'm gonna keep in the polygon kind of one. So when I click draw polygon, first I wanna make it smaller. Go back to mile radius so I can zoom in a little bit. So there it is, that's my home. This is the home there. I wanna keep it in the subdivision. So if I wanna really get the best results, I want to probably draw the polygon here and try to pull the whole subdivision. You can see it's a little funky at first when you're getting used to it and pulling it together. But now I have all these homes in here in this subdivision. And then once I do that, I can go through and it's better to apply my filters now. So I can do days sold. Remember, you want it to keep it less than a year. So there's 365 days. So even if I just apply that filter, it's going to change a lot. Now I have a lot less homes to look at. Let me see another filter I could change. Um, sold date between, uh, I'll go back to August 2023. If I can find it real quick without going too fast on my computer. Here we go, 2023, and then apply that. So now it's showing that there's 15 good ones here I could pull from. Some are four bedrooms, so I don't want four bedrooms. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to pick this three bedroom. And then if you click it, as you can see, it opens up. You can get a closer look at it and kind of take a chance and see what you think. So let's just say I like these. I'm going to go through 
I'm going to check. I can check the ones I want to use. Da, 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 I don't want the four bedroom. I want to use the three bedroom. I'm going to keep pulling my three bedrooms. It's still in the good square feet. This one sees out of the square foot. Anyway, I go through, I get some homes. And then I hit continue. So now it's going to show you the good thing it pulls when it pulls the data that you're picking and everything like that. It shows you nine sold, five active, five pending. And it shows you the price range. There's some as low as 225 and the medium is five to 325. There's some really expensive homes in there because it's a lot of, it's a pretty big area we picked. And then I can go through, I can adjust, see if I want it to close or make the volume go, value go up or down. I can do all that. Let's just say I like the way it looks to keep it simple for the video. And I go through and I pick all my homes. Once I hit continue, you're gonna see some cool stuff. So now like this is the presentation. It's gonna actually show the picture of the agent. And then it's going to talk about what, well, let me go back out of that. And it's going to talk about the company, all that. If I can find the stat data, I want to show you that. So this is where it pulls on the map. Now you see it's pulling the whole big area again, which is crazy, but it shows a lot of data, which is kind of fun with all the lifting price per square foot. I'm just skipping down to another slide. So this is showing, you know, how many days on the market, all the different data, active, pending, sold. So when you clean up your data and you go through, it's gonna give you some ideas of some good data, where it's gonna fit, everything like that. Now, once you look here, like intelligent pricing, it gives you really good talking points in this presentation. So as you walk through and you do it and you pull it all together, it pretty much builds your whole presentation for you. Now, of course, you wanna clean it up, make sure it's a good, you don't know net sheet in here, all that kind of stuff, and you do it. And then when I hit continue, I can do it as the same. See, I can customize my report or I can adjust my comps. If I go to adjust comps, I'm back here at my comps and then I can adjust my comps again. I can select all my comps if I want, which I don't really want. You can see some of these are good, some of these are great. I don't need all that. I can only get sold. Oh, I didn't do that. And the max, it says you saw the max you can have is 30 comps. And then you'd apply your filter. So once you go through and have fun, you get it set, this just walks you through the CMA section. And you can see how it's nice I can draw the whole subdivision. Now, if I wanted to erase my polygon and then you know do a mile radius just to get closer, I'm going to pull in closer to my subdivision. I can go right here and then just draw just in that little smaller subdivision if I wanted to. And see, now it's only a couple other homes in here. And it can show you know, this is here, this is here. You can get a good idea of what's around. And then if I don't want to pull the rest of this other section next to it, it might not be the same subdivision, you can do that. You see there's a lot you can do, it's a lot of fun. And then with the neighborhood, it's showing this whole big monster neighborhood. But when I apply my filters, I can change all that. So you want to be able to take the time, go through, fill in your filters, draw on the subdivision. I'm, sure I'm just trying to jump through and show you all the different ways you can do it. Once you draw and you have fun and you do the price, the beds, bath, See, this is like a 3-3, three, three, bath 2-2, two, two, property type, I only want single family. So as you go through and start changing, you can see your numbers start changing. And of course, I don't want only a mile around. That gives you so much on this side of the highway. That's not a good example, but it gives you the best ones close up. And then it kind of gives you ideas of what's in the area. And you can look here and you'll see, here's my sold. I went through one with active in there, I saw. Uh, do, do, do. And then you can kind of see all that. Turn not to spin too fast through the list so we don't see. Here's my active first sold, then some pending, then active. So it shows everything, and that's what all these homes are here. So you're going to see all those different types. So it gives you a good idea of what's in the area, how to play with it, and how to go through it. So use this to give you a good rough idea. I do have some other videos in there, of course, where you can go through and get some ideas of how to do a CMA correctly and how to structure it and make it work. This is just a good way if you need a CMA and you want to do it and you just need a quick to do some quick checks and you can know how to, when you practice this, it'll make it a lot easier to apply your filters. As you can see, I'm just showing them all and then you know you can go through and you can do all your filters, have some fun, um, just keep knocking all these out. And then this will make it really easy to help you be able to get better filters in your area. And then it's going to get rid of some of the extra stuff and let you keep the better ones. 
So hope that's useful and that can walk you through. This takes practice, of course. I'm jumping around showing you how to do it quickly. But when you practice it and take the time to do it, it does help you and help you understand how to do it. And it will make your life a little bit easier. And so you'll have a good little presentation. Even if you just go through their presentation and go to the end where it has all those great slides, you can take that slides, you know, have it ready, download them, put in your own CMAs, and then use all that reason like why to use an agent, how, why it's important to price. What do I do for my listing blast? It talks about that, how we blast all the different options out there. There's a lot of really good slides in there to help you do a listing presentation. So this is an easy way to get everything together, get your listing presentation built through Lofty, even if you use a different CMA, if this one's a little too walky for you. But hopefully that's useful. Talk to you soon.